Disney fam, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rita, if you are new here, and if you're returning, then welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me. Today's video is gonna be my entire Disney artwork slash print collection. I'm super excited to bring this video for you guys. If you are interested in my artwork collection, then just keep watching. So I told you guys a little bit ago, probably in a few videos, that I wanted to show you guys my artwork. I don't have a ton, but I feel like I have a good amount, and me and the hubby just really like Disney art prints, so I wanted to share my collection with you guys. I do have some that are up on the wall, and so once I show you everything that I have accessible to me in terms of not on the wall, I'm going to show you those first, and then we'll go into what's around my house. So here we go, this video might be a little long, so I'm gonna just jump to it so I don't waste any more of your precious time. Don't mind my bun, it's just messy bun day today and we're just gonna work with it, okay? Here we go, so the first print, um, really quick backstory, very, very, very short. Um, me and the hubby probably like, Five to seven years ago, we used to go to a lot of Disney expos, and I'm talking like we used to go to D23 when D23 wasn't as huge as it is now. Like we actually could just show up in the morning and just walk in and wait in minimal lines. Yeah, that's when we used to go, and that was the good old days. But anyways, during those expo times, we totally were able to take advantage of meeting with different artists, and we did just that. So our num our one of our number one favorite Disney artists is Noah, and um, if you don't know who he is, definitely look him up he is such an awesome guy he um, he's just really cool and he comes out with really nice artwork and me and Robert I guess you could say we are a little picky with our artwork there's a lot of Disney artwork I've seen Wonderground Gallery that I am NOT a fan of I'm just gonna put it out there right now like that one artist I think her name is like Miss Mindy or something where it's like the crazy huge eyes and they look like kind of evilly I'm sorry I'm just not a fan sorry so we like more classic looks, more, um, I don't know. We, I guess you can tell by whatever we get here what kind of look we're, we like. <laughs> we just don't like the super like distorted kind of Disney look. It's just not our thing. So here we go. Anyways, Noah is awesome. I love all of his work. Literally, if you go on his gallery, like Noah's gallery, anything on there I love. So the first one we have here is of Ursula and Ariel. And this is literally probably like seven to 10 years old. And I got this for the purpose of putting it in like my bathroom when I didn't have a home. And so just the bathrooms we have right now doesn't really fit. So I actually have not put this up yet. And um, it's a really nice piece of artwork actually. Um, and it is, the colors are awesome. It's a cool scene of Ursula taking Ariel's voice and it has has this very nice like you know deep blue deep green vibe to it so I do like it and I think I was more of a Little Mermaid fan then I'm still a Little Mermaid fan but I think more so I was then and it was just a really cool piece of artwork so um but this is the first one and like I said maybe when we get a new house um and the bathroom is right we'll put it in there I don't know what it is but I just have a thing with my artwork in bathrooms <laughs> yeah that's me Okay, the next one is by an artist named Callie Hicks. And if you guys were Vinylmation collectors, you will know who Callie Hicks is because they were also a Vinylmation artist. And this one is um, a rendition of It's a Small World, and I absolutely love this print. I think the colors on here are beautiful. I love the elephant, the giraffe. You got the hippo right over here. Just really, really cute. Love the colors. I think this one would be great in like a you know baby's room. That would be really, really cute but really, really cute artwork print right over here. The next one is, hold on. Okay, so this one is another Noah painting, uh, painting, uh, Noah print, and this is actually more the hubbies than anything, more than it is mine, and you'll see why in a second. And this one we actually got signed by Noah, and it says, Robert, wishing you many blessings in this life, and then he signed, and then it says Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. So really, really nice that he wrote that note for Robert on here, and what an awesome print this is, you guys. So this is definitely an awesome print. So check this out you're gonna totally see a glare no matter what because it's so shiny but it is mickey in a hot rod like literally that's what it is you got mickey in a hot rod and you got like the city lights and it's just you can tell like he's like racing with the smoke it's just so cool 
it is such a cool artwork so there is that print sorry about the glare guys it is what it is and then here is noah um that he signed it for robert so really cool piece of artwork definitely robert's hoping that once he has like his own little man cave he can put that up there the next one, let's see here, yeah. The next one is a one that me and Robert got the last time we were in Walt Disney World when Pandora just opened and it was literally like two, three weeks right after Pandora opened and I absolutely love Avatar. I love the colors. You guys know me, I'm huge into colors. And so Pandora is like the epicenter of colors. And so when I saw this artwork, I definitely told Robert, we got to get this painting. Like, why do I keep saying painting? Um, we got to get this print uh, because it's, it's beautiful. Like, seriously, I cannot wait to figure out a place to put this artwork because it is gorgeous with colors. So it is of Pandora and it's like nighttime and it's just beautiful. I mean, you can see here, like, you got one of the Navis and then you have the water all across. You have the lights and the colors just like shimmering off of it from all like the animals and plants. It's just gorgeous. I absolutely love this print. I cannot wait to put this somewhere. Uh, me and Robert, during Christmas time, we have this huge artwork that's in our living room of like a moose and he has ornaments hanging down from his, um, his horns, horns, whatever, you know what they're called. Um, and they light up and it makes the picture look so nice during the nighttime. And so I kind of want to incorporate something like that with this one. Like I want to frame it, but I want to have some kind of lights so like we can turn it on during like the nighttime and it would glow. Oh my God, that's like dreams right there. So definitely one of my favorites. Okay guys, so in terms of artwork that is not framed just yet, that is what I have. Now I'm going to move on to a few different types of artwork and um, I'll show them to you right now and then we'll go into the ones around the house. So the first one is a framed one from Wonderground Gallery and it is of Belle and Beast and it is framed already. I did get this in a Bippity Boppity box but it's totally part of my artwork collection so I had to show you guys. And then another one that I got is a postcard but I totally use these as picture for like in, like actual pictures and it is of Carl and Ellie like in a picnic scene. It is so pretty. I love this one okay the next one i'm going to show you now um you guys have to tell me if disney store still does this jessica meredith i know you work at the disney store so um you definitely need to tell me if they still do this but when you used to pre-order dvds they used to um give you lithographs that came with them and i was such a fan of that like seriously i would always try to pre-order from the disney store just to get these lithographs so i'm gonna go ahead and show them to you guys and i have a few of them here let me just make sure i have them all why am i missing one okay so i have a total okay Okay, so I have a total of four of them I want to show you guys. So we'll start off with the first one, which is going to be the Beauty and the Beast one. And this was for their 25th anniversary. So it looks like this, and then it opens up, and it looks like this. So pretty. I love these. And I'm actually going to show you guys how it looks, how you can make these look framed and really professional. So I will show you how to do that as well. So here we go. Let me show you all the ones that came in this one. The first one is of Belle and Beast in the ballroom scene. I think it's such a pretty scene. This one's so pretty. Definitely a really pretty picture. The next one is Lumiere doing his Be Our Guest scene. The next one is of Belle in the library with all the books. Looking just beautiful. And then the last one is of Gaston and LeFou. Look at them. Oh, good old Gaston. So this is really cool. And they were just free with the pre-order of a DVD. And um, yeah, I don't know if Disney Store still does them. You guys let me know if you know that they still do these because I need to get back on it. Lately, me and the hubby have been just buying DVDs on Amazon. So I've been kind of missing out on that. Okay, the next one, I'm super glad I was still doing it with this movie, which is Moana. Like, how can I not have the lithographs for Moana? I'm very happy I was still collecting Disney Store DVDs then. <laughs> so here is Moana, and then when you open it up, it looks like this. 
so pretty oh my gosh and then let me go ahead and show you guys the artwork that came with it and so the first one is a pua and hey hey look how cute they are i love this like scene it's so cute i love hey hey on pua really really cute another really cute bathroom picture by the way <laughs> uh next one is of moana being just a voyager that she is she looks so fierce here i love it and then the last one is of Maui with his hook and like the, you know, the, like the tropical setting in the back. That one's a really cool one. And then there is a fourth one because they always give you four. And that one is the one that I will show you how we framed and it looks legit. Like it literally looks like just another kind of print you can get from Wonderground. Let me tell you. Okay, and then the last two I have are both like Nemo related, which is Finding Dory and Finding Nemo. And I don't know if I really say this in any of my videos or if you guys know, but Finding Nemo and Finding Dory are actually on the top of my list of favorite movies. I know people don't really talk about them much. I feel like they're kind of forgotten in a sense, but before Moana came out, I absolutely loved these movies and I still do. So, and of course it's like water, so you know, your girl's gonna love them. But yes, definitely um, one of my favorite movies. So I do have the lithographs for them and I will go ahead and show you that. So the first one is Finding Nemo. I think this is actually the first lithograph I ever got was this Finding Nemo one. Open it up, it's beautiful. You can see the coral reef right there. And then you have your lithographs. So the ones that come here are, you can see here the sharks with Bruce. And then you have Marlin and Dory. And then the next one looks like Marlin and um, Dory again with the jellyfish scene. That one's a really cool one. I love that one. And then you have Crush, you have Squirt, you have Marlin, Dory, all of them. Yep. That one's a really cute one. I love how Crush is like front and focus. The fourth one is also another one that I have framed up, which I will show you as well. So again, you can totally use these lithographs as artwork. Okay, and then the last one is the Finding Dory one, which looks like this. And when you open it up, it looks like this. Really, really cute. I absolutely love these. And these ones, you guys, did you see the first one? It's the cuddle party. Look how cute this is. Oh my gosh. Absolutely love this one. The next one looks like Bailey with Hank and... Um, Oh my gosh, what's her name? You know, Pipe Buddies, but what's her name? I can't remember her name, I just remember Bailey. Dang it, why can't I remember her name? But you know who I'm talking about. Look how cute this one, this is a really, really cute one. And then the next one is of Marlin and Dory. And the last one is of Baby Dory. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is, oh my gosh. I love the Baby Dory one, that one is so cute. Okay, so those are all my lithographs. And like I said, I will show you the framed ones of these as well. Just give me one second. The last thing I want to show you guys before I show that is I did get these uh, artworks as well. And I think I got these from the Disney Movie Rewards. When you get certain rewards, you can um, get these. I want to say this is how I got them. And I think it was because we're... They, Disney Movie Rewards, if you don't know, when you buy Disney movies, you can um, uh, uh, get points like on Disney Movie Rewards. And then if you buy certain movie like combos together, they give you certain freebies. So these were two of them. One of them is of this one right over here of uh, Beauty and the Beast. And it actually is like, a, it just comes together. So it opens up like this. And then you have this other layer this other film layer here. Hold on, let me let me get close. Let me get close so you can see what's going on. So you have the first layer, then it opens up. Okay, so then there's the second layer here, which as you can see, it's like an outline of them. So once you peel back that layer, you see them there with no outline. And then there's one more layer, which is them actually on this sheet. And then it's just the background. So that's really cool how they have it like in layers. So that's this one. And then I do have another one, which is of the Jungle Book. This one's also really cool. So you have like Mowgli and you have like the different animals. And then this one is like this. 
and then the first layer is like well actually the first layer of this one has like the leaves so you can take that out then you see more of the animals a little bit better and then you take out that layer and it's just the background so that's really cool how they do that it's kind of like those flip books in a sense so there's those okay now let me go ahead and show you the one lithograph that I got framed and how it looks like pretty much any Disney print. And then I'll show you the one that I actually have framed. So this one is, I guess you can say pre-framed. So it is the baby Moana one, which if you watched me from the beginning, you know this was hanging in my background in my old room. So here it is and you would never think that it was a lithograph because I mean, if you just compare it to another Disney artwork, it looks almost the same. So really, really fun. It's such a fun way to make these lithographs look like real Disney art print. I mean, I can give you more of a good comparison with like the white one here. So you see, I mean, you would never know, right? So all you do, you guys, and I just go to Michael's because it's just much more professional, is you do have to get like this first top layer and then they also will tell you what color you want for this second layer here. And so me and Robert just kind of played with colors. When you're there, you'll do a bunch of different samples. So this is just the color we went with. It's like this white kind of cream and then this really nice gold to accent it. And it's just really fun to play around with um, the, you know, the art, like, yeah, the artwork. And then once it's framed, also you want to know what color frame you're going to have because then that's another layer. So this one was in a gold frame. So that gold definitely matched with the gold. So it was really, really pretty. So that is definitely a way that you can turn your lithographs into Disney artwork. Okay guys, now I'm gonna move on and show you guys everything that's hanging around my house so you can see that piece of my collection. So here we go, let's go to my artwork. Okay guys, so the first one here is the one that sits right behind me in my studio. And this one is definitely the Enchanted Tiki Room inspired. I did buy this one from Wonderground Gallery. You can see a little O to the Dole Whip as well on there and you have all the birds. And um, this is framed in a Target picture frame, which I absolutely love Target picture frames. I will link it down below for you guys if I can find the link to them. So that's the one that's right behind me. This next one is another one of those lithographs I was telling you guys about that we actually framed. And it looks just like artwork. So this is um, of the aquarium in Finding Nemo. And you got Nemo there and all the aquarium friends. And so I really like this one. Once again, this is another Target picture frame. And we just got the picture completely done by Michaels. Okay, go. Okay, this next one is in our hallway, and this is of Carl and Ellie, and Carl's holding a huge bouquet of heart-shaped balloons. And this is another one that I did get from Wonderground Gallery. It's actually probably one of my favorites. It's so cute. I love this one. So I definitely had to frame this one in my hallway. And again, this is a Target picture frame. And then if you go ahead and go down my hallway, I do have another artwork. There's Cornelius, by the way, just chilling. And the next one is of uh, Lady and the Tramp with Tony um, at his restaurant with all the doggies there. And this is another Noah art print. And we do have here Noah's signature as well. And it says, Rita, wishing you many blessings in this life. So the same thing that you saw on Robert's print. So he did the same for me. I love the fact that they use this really pretty like burgundy maroon um, framing like outline around it. And then I chose a gold frame for this one. Once again, from Target, love these frames. So that is that one right over there. Okay, so the next one is in my kitchen and sorry if I sound far, but Robert had to stand on the counter to even get this one because it is kind of high up in my kitchen. But this one is all the Disney snacks and seriously, I love this artwork. You literally see all the different Disney snacks, all of them are probably like my favorite practically. And I thought it was just so appropriate for my kitchen. So there is that piece and I did get this one from Wonderground as well. And I thought putting it in a gold frame would be perfect. So definitely one of my favorites. 
Okay guys, so I figured I'd just go ahead and end this out in the kitchen because that's where the last artwork was, which is right up there. That's why Robert had to stand on the counter. I really hope you enjoyed my artwork collection. I love having all this artwork. Definitely not gonna stop collecting um, because me and the hubby just really like Disney art prints and they're beautiful and they just make the house look really nice. So I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked this kind of content. If you like any kind of Disney park, Disney food, food or Disney unboxings, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'm sure there'll be something here that you enjoy. So thank you so much once again. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye.